fuck? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that was Amber. That was not you me. Got to be Dude, kidding me. He had to coordinate it. Unbelievable. <laughs> If you listen to the last episode, we were talking about how something always happens when we're running, when we're trying to be quiet at the beginning of the episode to yeah. edit oh. out the noise, and then we all committed to being completely was- still at the beginning of this episode. Not a sound, not a sound could be heard from any of us, and then right at like five seconds, we have to go six seconds, Tyler's phone goes... <laughs> I'll tell you, oh I have not had a laugh like that in a while. Like a legitimate from the belly. I, 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 just, it, it was ridiculous. <laughs> that is great. Perfect timing. Uh, Thank you, Amber. Go ahead, bring it in, Nick. Oh, like you're okay. <clears throat> Hi, this is Steven, your representative from Entergy in Arkansas. <laughs> we want to let you know that we saw a light thunderstorm coming through Arkansas, and your power will be out for at least 48 hours. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Pay us. That's your life, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I'm I'm not joking. There's a thunderstorm going through. Chances are I will lose power. Yeah. We uh it's too bad it's not closer to Halloween and this is happening. We can make it a spooky episode. Oh, we'll have an opportunity for that, yeah, I'm sure. October's good for thunderstorms around here. You remember those little hanging things that would do that? Hang little hanging vampires that you put outside your door that would make those weird noises when you walked up. Oh yeah, little motion detected with the fiery red eyes. <laughs> All right, what are you guys doing? What's, um, what's going uh, on? Uh, Everyone's uh, on a fucking <laughs> thing right now. Uh, I'm the only uh, one who's uh, actually. I'm looking up a THV11 story. Oh my god! Uh... Why did we not do this before we started? I'm literally the only one not looking at a screen. Like, I'm, do you, I'm do you need to... a screen? Carry the <laughs> here. You can look at mine. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I was looking up the story from THV11 about uh, close up of Kaepernick's face is featured in an ad. Uh, I was for, just live streaming for, us. Yeah, <laughs> I was live streaming Mark being the, annoyed. The at Nike us. ad with uh, Kaepernick's face. This is believe in something, whatever. Yeah, uh, won an Emmy, and I was looking at some of the reactions from the THV. Wait, people. an oh, Emmy? Oh yes. Yeah. How did it win an win Emmy? Emmys? Emmy. I guess if you're calling Kaepernick, it can. I don't know. That's you know weird. they made like over. Oh my god, he's gonna just he's gonna lord that over <laughs> everyone. Here's Nicole Baker Stubblefield. You want says, me to read some? Oh yeah, read of that. Course. Nicole Baker Stubblefield in that of course voice. Course got be three Got to get got to get my voice ready. He's the reason we no longer buy Nike, watch the Oscars, Emmy, or the NFL! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. I know we are the only household, but it's our way of standing up for our country and our flag. Man, man this is like the second comment, and there is just there, gold. There's certain stories that you know are going to have the best comments, and it they never know. fails. They know. Yeah. Okay. Bless you. He sacrificed a mediocre career. They should use pictures of so- fallen soldiers, police, firefighters, etc. Comma again. Who actually what? sacrificed everything? When I see that dead cop, all I think of is how I want to buy sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> what a great point, dude. Uh, I watch Blue Bloods on NBC. <laughs> In, By the way, uh, in Chicago that was, Fire. That was one sentence with just commas yeah, over and over and over again. So it was like William Shatner pausing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can carry it for a you're second. You're on your screen. Yeah, you, you guys can carry wow. it for a second. Go you on. You know, you're truly being a douche. I've got, <laughs> I've got a new story that I wanted to t- run by you guys. Um and we can talk more about this. Okay. We, well, this will open something up here. Um, mm. Derek Vandenham, a sheriff's deputy in Richland County, <laughs> Sounds South Sounds like a made-up nickname. Mr. Right. Vandenham. <laughs> was, he was fired after he was arrested in a child sex sting operation run by his own department and 12 other agencies <laughs> that resulted in the arrests of more than a dozen people who solicited sex from officers pretending to be 13 to 15-year-old girls. <laughs> So oh it was his God. own department. <laughs> what a dope. Man. Oh my God. <laughs> if only cops are intelligent and not like, you know, almost high the, school graduates. These are, these are the people. <laughs> <laughs> almost high <laughs> school. <laughs> yeah, he's getting his, yeah. he's working on his GED. Real honorable fellow there. <laughs> so he got busted by his own 
Oh my yep. god! And he's a chief, oh, chief of police. Or? No, it was just dumb. a deputy. Oh, just a deputy. Did he probably you? didn't even know about it. He was probably right. the donut guy gopher. I know, <laughs> I know. I've told this story before, but I'm just for anyone who happens to be a new listener. My the the minister of my church when I was younger, when I was like 12 years old, when he became mm. the new minister of the church. Uh, I want to say it was five or six years ago. Um, he got busted in a prostitution sting. Oh man, That's awesome! Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's just prostitution. A, I don't really have a problem. It's with. a weird. Yeah. It's it a should weird be legal. Thing. It really should. It really if it, should. If they're of age, legal age. Yeah, consent. That is the weird. That is just the weirdest thing to me. Like, very, very weird that. You can't sell your you can't sell your body like, so, I, I, yeah, like yeah, oh you can definitely sell your body if you want to work dig for coal <laughs> well do. that's what I'm saying <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> well, yeah. and also like make the twelve dollars that's left in that business if you're, <laughs> if you're a hot girl and I'm some random guy you're not just gonna like have sex with me but if I take you out for a nice steak it's on how's that not prostitution exactly it's somewhat I, I, yeah <laughs> are they just role playing right now <laughs> no it's the, no. it's the truth man like I guarantee you I'm there's not calling so woman people, hookers there's so many people who are on Tinder though. There's so many people who are on Tinder who do that shit. And, like, guys who yeah, have you money. you take them up for drinks exa- and they bang you. Exactly. Exactly, or yeah. Take, or take them on a sailboat mm. in the Mediterranean or something. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Yeah. Yeah. But Dan Bilzerian, that motherfucker, all those women who he's sleeping with, they're all whores. <laughs> they're all whores. All of them. Dan, Bil- the guy, Dan Bilzerian? Yeah. He's got yeah, they're tons fa- of fucking they're, money. They're gold they're digging just, fame. Exactly. Yeah. Fame Arrest digging? all of them for prostitution because that's what's going on. They're there's hookers. No, there's, no, thinking, there's, yeah. no like, there's no like one to one exchange that you can actually prove. No, you know? there's no. No, there cash is a one to one. They're, they're on. def- Oh, yeah. It's hands on. Yeah there's, a, yeah. there's an exchange that's going on. That's. The, I, just I don't because they drink, a, they, they drink eight bottles of Dom Perignon and then. Yeah. That's hooker. That's, That's hooker. capitalism at its finest, yeah. right there. That's what that is. There is mm-hmm. definitely an exchange. Look, for goods. If, if Dan, good goods. If Dan Bilzerian was yeah. trying to give them diet Mountain Dew, there's no way that it, <laughs> yeah. he, they'd be having yeah. sex with him. He is exactly. dreaming. It has but. to be. It has to be a comparable amount, though. So it has to be like a billion Ma- diet Mountain Dews for one bottle of. No, that would be. It depends on the girl. Look at, right. Look at Dan Bilzerian. I sure Let's do be real. love diet Mountain Dew. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get out this trailer. I Dean Bilzerian is not an attractive man. Give me man. that Mountain Dew. I gotta wash the jizz taste out of my mouth. Oh god, <laughs> gross! Wish we had that drop. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine six months from now Tim says something and then we go, Give me that diet Mountain Dew. I'm trying to wash this jizz taste out my mouth. <laughs> oh man. That guy uh, that guy's too much, man. He's he's not an he's not even a, that's why I'm he's not even a real person the, at this that's point. Why I'm saying I guess all he doesn't those pop women up are hookers. My, he doesn't pop up in my circle just enough. The, just to, fucking look him up, man. Like he's isn't, a, isn't he like a isn't he one one of the isn't he like top point zero zero five percent of internet influencers? <laughs> of his age. Well, yeah, I mean, there's a there's a couple other people. we know age. we know one of them, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but he legitimately is. <laughs> <laughs> This guy like owns yachts, private islands, like because oh, he made he really his, does own stuff. Yeah, like he made all his money off being a social media influencer. Yeah, pretty much. And, and uh, a poker player. Po- poker oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he, yeah. good poker. One player. Much, uh, money yeah, so he is a good poker player, or yeah. uh, enough. Yeah, yeah, but you look at him; he's not an attractive man. That's why he grew a know. big ass fucking beard. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's he why he's his got face. It. He's in good shape. I don't but see anything wrong with that. He also had a heart attack at uh, like. You know. 34 or something like that. Yeah. From doing was, coke. Yeah. From doing coke and staying up for 36 hours. Well, and that'll, that'll do it. Yeah. We do know some influencers, though. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who who just definitely makes me laugh who every definitely time. Rival, rival Dan Bilzerian. <laughs> Whoa, look at they all those hot famous girls, movie though. directors. You know. You think he's boning all those girls? Yes. Yes, he did. He said he is. They he, like, he's. He, he brags about it. Like, I listened to a podcast all. just recently within the past couple weeks. Where he was talking to someone, and he said, any girl who comes to me, I tell them up front, like, I'm going to have sex with other people. And as long as they're cool with it, like, they can hang around. He's pretty buff, though. 
Oh yeah, he's ripped as fuck. He, he, uh, that, that's all he does, I guess. He just work out. Work he out. Does that. Probably take steroids. On, he does take steroids. Yeah. He was on. Uh, he was on Rogan. He was. I think he was talking. I could be wrong, but I think he was talking about taking steroids. I know that he says that he goes down to Mexico or something, gets stem oh, cell get something, stem cell injections. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. they talk about DMT? It's Rogan, of course. I think at some point that may have been brought up. I mean, <laughs> what do you think these girls feel like when he like? Does DMT does it, with them? No, when he doesn't call them to go on the cruise anymore, you know what I mean? Like when he's done with them. Yeah, you know, like they just—he just doesn't. <laughs> well, hopefully they have you grown get? their social media audience enough where oh, they can yeah. continue to just take pictures and put it on Instagram yeah. and mm. make money. I, mean, I think that's what they really get want out of it, anyway. That it? is such a weird thing. We're heading towards. Uh, we're heading towards the, a point in time where you're just essentially going to have to pay to just see people. Just like, because that's where it's going. Like, I mean, if you're making money off of Instagram, it's going to get to a point where the accounts are pay well, to see pe- the account. People already you know? do that. They have like they'll they'll put up photos that are like you know somewhat clothed, and they'll say, "Go Look to at the, my Patreon exactly, to yeah, see the nudes." Yeah. Or whatever. Oh, right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, I'm going to do that with myself. Just be, <laughs> put some photos. I've, up there. I've thought Look about my it. Patreon Honestly, to see my nudes. I think that you're too much. It'll probably between, be all gay guys. You're going to have to either. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. I'll take their money. But that's what I'm saying. Tim's at a point right now where I pay Tim, him back Tim either needs to <laughs> Tim either needs to lose like 50 pounds and get shredded. Wow. Damn, that's no, a no, lot. No, no, just listen. Wow. That is a lot. Just, just listen. <laughs> just listen. <laughs> All right. 50 pounds. Am I that fat, guys? No, you're not. No, you're not. You're just a dumpy, fat, pathetic fuck. <laughs> okay. we're, we're learning a lot of what everyone thinks of each other. <laughs> fuck it, I'll lose 100. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know See, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a See, dick, listen, but, but just... Nick, Nick, you look like a fucking chubby dyke, dyke fuck. Go fuck yourself. So you want me to get AIDS? I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, I, I was using that it was hyperbole, but I'm just saying, sure. get shredded. <laughs> I got you, get shredded. You get absolutely shred it and then you do that or or you go the opposite direction and that's why I said 50 pounds you gain 50 pounds and you get that nice like chub going that on bear look. and then you yeah and then you uh you get the folks who are into who are into the um, thick thick boys yeah the thick boys do it nick <laughs> yeah we start wearing a little leather not a lot just not like a, a lot. suspenders and a top, exactly. a top hat or something yeah like a halter top for a man <laughs> yeah. you know yeah I mean, so, what, you, like <laughs> seriously though like if Maybe, you posted yeah. if you posted like you know one picture a week of you like bare, barely clad bare yeah and and barely you know, hashtag B-A-R. hashtag the fuck out of it <laughs> hashtag the fuck out of it so someone was going to come across it obviously yeah. oh i just thought of a great and then get a bunch of followers and then start yeah. a patreon or a you know i think there's a bunch of different so, of those yeah. for, no, my, for my site it's going to be b e a r l y legal Barely, barely legal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And I'll get fat because it's easier. Grow out that beard. Don't shave your back for a while. Like you're it's, you're it's golden. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I got it. Don't wax my butthole. Listen. <laughs> no, you, you do gotta that. wax your butthole. <laughs> I've got a couple cameras. I'll Don't take worry, the pictures. Don't worry, Timothy. I'll weed whack we'll you. Split those. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll shoot my uh, my photos? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Some, yeah. some tasteful <laughs> asshole very, photo. <laughs> very tasteful. Very tasteful. <laughs> very tasteful. <laughs> Mark knows how to get the light right. <laughs> some tasteful I've got a, nudes. I've got a uh, novelty bottle of Buffalo Wing Soda sitting wait. over there that I haven't <laughs> opened in five years. I can just hold it. Wait. I have a... Have a, okay. Okay. God, Fifty a pounds. Brand new genre. <laughs> he still hung up on what that. A, that was such a that was such a like catty dick I, comment. I was <laughs> just like, passive aggressive, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hyperbole. I'm just brand saying that new I, genre. Brand yeah, new genre. It's such a specific number have though. Seen, like, because I said fifty one way, fifty another. Sorry, Tyler. We have to hash this out. I wasn't no, calling. No, I'm not offended by it. I think okay, it's hilarious. Good. Thank you. I'm have you glad. seen? Have you seen that all these girls are doing the doing the like the negligees and the lingerie? Or the photos and the boudoir the shoots. Boudoir. Yeah. So you're yeah. gonna start doing the booty war. Oh yeah. Booty war. Yeah. Booty war photo yeah. shoots. Exactly. Of men. With Tim. All Mark, yes, Mark and Prance. Yeah. Not just him. Not just him. We're gonna make a business out of this, yeah. buddy. We have a We're, EOTB calendar it, yeah. coming out next year. Yeah. 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 We Hell all yes, have. We, do. <laughs> we all have juicy shorts. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's just on the outside. On the That's inside, right, the yeah. shorts are g- g- gone. Two, two of Don't us worry, have we're all thick. two of us will have pink shorts on. <laughs> hey, it works for Burt Kreischer, you know? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. I'm going sure to get some crotchless panties. Because he's not funny <laughs> at all. No. I don't understand why he's famous. I don't get it either. He has that one story. He had the one machine story, and that was it. Other than that, Burt Kreischer is just very, very, very obnoxious. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. I don't think so. I think he's funny. I thought his, I thought you his other stand up was pretty he's funny. Okay. Yeah. No, no. Mm-hmm. Not a fan. Uh, I'm gonna pass on uh, now that, that one. new Bill Burr, on the other hand. Fucking hilarious. Great. Fucking yeah. hilarious. I'm kind of cooling on Bill Burr. Paper I don't, Tiger. I don't know why. Did you watch the latest one? No, I didn't. Oh, oh, it's very good. pretty good. It's, yeah. It'll get it's, you all hot for him again. I just, yeah. I, I don't know. I. Maybe I'm just worn out on the Bill Burr rants. I went on like a YouTube binge a while ago. You might not like, like it then because that's all. Is that all it is? That's all it is. His, but it's his voice. Is there a lot nice, about squeaky. cancel culture in there? And, mm, no, no. It's yeah, a, there's yeah, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's, there's a, there. there's a little bit. Did I almost predict it, his whole set? No, know. but you got to watch it, man. It's the it's one of the first time when I'm watching stand up comedy by myself. Rarely do I laugh out loud. I watched this by myself. There was a handful of times that I actually laughed okay, out loud. I'll the, watch it. The part I, where he refers to himself as a fuck stick made me laugh out yeah, loud. Yeah. <laughs> when he when he was talking about when he's like, I met a woman one time in a bar and she goes, I like to get fucked. And he's like, All right, well I know what's going on here and he starts stretching out and everything like uh, yeah, I laughed at that. There were, there's a handful of moments in did, that stand up. Have that we ever talked good. about F is for family? Oops. Man, that is one of the That was a good show. Everyone slept on that fucking show that and was it was really funny. so funny. So funny. They're, they're coming out with a new season soon. Oh really? Yeah. It oh, got good. greenlit for how I thought it got signed on for a couple more seasons. Uh, I'm Didn't, not sure. Hmm. But it, it's a good show. Yeah. We need to watch that one, Nick. It's I good. will. Paper Tiger. No, I'm a f- I'm a fan of Bill Burr. I do. I like his stuff. But I don't know. He had that. I mean, one. at this point, he I, I just one, gotta, He's uh, definitely one of the goats. Right? I gotta pause oh, yeah. and then no. come back to it. Yeah, and That's his fine, yeah. his yeah, last yeah, yeah, yeah. his last special wasn't that not good. that good. Not I mean, that good. I think that was the one at the the last with ones the gorilla I story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think too uh, maybe the thing with Bill Burr is he just like he's constantly pumping out stuff because he's got the podcast. He he's on. Um, yeah. I think I see on, him uh, on a lot of podcasts. He's on shit. Conan no. all the time. But the reason why it's good is because he is just himself all the time. There's too many. There's too many comedians. That's true. It's too many comedians act. that's just like, oh, I wrote a new joke. Let me get on late night. Let me pump out this joke. Let me see what the yeah. audience reacts to. Not doing my bit, but like as a guest, let me see how the audience reacts. Bill Burr is just like, I truly think that that guy doesn't give a fuck at all. Like no. he's just. He's and up there with Stanhope as far as like, yeah, yeah he's like, right, I, will, right. I will, I will run myself into the fucking ground. Yeah. I do not give a shit. I think shit. Bill Burr you know, just does it with a little bit more brutal. nuance than Stanhope does. Because <laughs> no, Stan, hold on, Tim's doing Stan a Bill Burr. No, no, no. Stanhope's just Trump? so right. on the nose he's, with everything. Yeah, <laughs> Bill Burr dances around things, and <laughs> Stanhope's just like he he really sounds fed up all the time. <laughs> he's like, very he's fed just, up. Yeah, he's, he's fucking done. Fed up. He's been fed up for years. I mean, I fucking I love Stanhope. Loves Stan that Hope. Uh, that episode of uh, Louis when Stan Hope comes. Have you seen that? I never watched Louis. Oh I like Louis. Louis was Louis it's, was funny. It's Stan Hope as Stan Hope. Yeah, and, and Louis as as you know yeah, Louis yeah, C.K. Yeah. and pre whack. He, he's like and he like pre. He's, like, <laughs> he's like he's like doing Whack-y. the bit. He's like you know like we, we you know we kind of grew up in the scene together. You know, kind of made our bones. You know, yeah. in the comedy scene, whatever. And, and um, and he's like, yeah, I think I'm Stan Hope's like I, I think I'm done. And Louis like you're gonna you're gonna hang it up you're gonna retire he's like no I'm gonna I'm gonna kill myself <laughs> <laughs> and like the rest of the episode is like Louis trying to talk Stan Hope down and Stan's like no I'm gonna do this he's like buy me a drink or something but this is it I'm done <laughs> like like you know that comes from a very real place yeah from, yeah. from both of them probably yeah. <laughs> like yeah that's legit <laughs> that is one of the funniest things to me about Stan Hope is that he is uh if you look at him and his lifestyle and then you look at Joe Rogan they're polar opposites but they're such good friends <laughs> they're like yeah Stan Hope smokes drink like lives his life like a fucking like, crazy person like a frat you know? boy. yeah exactly yeah. anyway <clears throat> We've, we've covered enough stand-up comedy. <laughs> uh, we could talk about the Little Rock scene. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, my God. Speaking of, uh, speaking of, on speaking of people we talk about quite a bit. Oh yeah. Did you see uh, 
Tool frontman Maynard James Keenan oh, got boy. in trouble. What's going on with oh, him? Oh, what did he do? <laughs> did he Me Too? Or Just gotta no. go down the Tool rabbit hole again. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, uh, he... Let me do this for another well, 15 minutes. Does the song ever fucking end? <laughs> what happened was uh, yeah. he retweeted a meme of him using the glove of Chiron or whatever. What's that glove? Uh, Thanos. Thanos. The glove of Thanos. The Infinity Gauntlet? The Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, Actually, it's the Infinity Gauntlet. Yes. Yes. To destroy Uh, Taylor Swift. Thanos was a person of color and Maynard is a white man, so he's not allowed to wear that glove. No, no, no. No, no, no. He's using the gauntlet gauntlet to destroy Taylor Swift because he, like, surpassed her hit. It's actually pretty funny. Took number one or whatever Uh, on the charts. So what's wrong with this? Someone made it. I mean, it's tagged lame. him in it. Yeah. He retweeted well, it. Fine. What, what the story goes Funny back to joke. when Tool knocked her off the top ten or something, mm-hmm. she made some comment about like, oh, I don't, these old guys, no one ever even heard about. I just got me kicked off the top ten or whatever. She was yeah. joking, right? No, like, Taylor Swift knows who the fuck mm, Tool is, right? Probably, probably not. not. Like, like I don't like, I don't like Tool at all. But like, but like, I mean, respect they're, to they're, the fact that they've been around for so goddamn but long. Their yeah, last so, album yeah. probably came out when she was in like middle school and yeah. didn't care. Taylor probably. Swift is kind of a bitch, isn't she? How, how old is she? I mean, she's, she's, she's fucking definitely, thirty now. She's definitely a hooker. She takes her fucking music uh, she's way too she's seriously. Definitely a hooker. <laughs> Well, it, well, no, her fans take it too seriously because what happened was then. Well, her they got to shake it off. Huh. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> you gonna break out all your T Swift albums? <laughs> um, so her fans, her music. fans came for MJK. Is what happened? MJK. Okay, Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> 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 Who's MJK? Maynard James Keenan. Oh, oh, okay. Gun is they spelled with a J him. in Nick's they world. They came for him hard in the <laughs> oh Twitter. Oh my God, I Twitter completely verse. spaced on that. I did not realize. <laughs> because of the meme? Wow. Because of the meme, yeah. Well, the meme's kind of funny. The meme's kind of funny, yeah. but they were very offended that, for so. yeah. T-Swift. And so yeah. they had to... She Like, she can't fight her own battles. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. She's probably got more money than Tool. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, she, lo- she lost yeah. all her music. Though. No, she's got more money than Tool. She lost it. Where she? Where she? <clears throat> she go? Uh, her record company got bought out by Justin Bieber's fucking manager, who is apparently I don't know. But yeah, are like, you serious right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, she, he <laughs> lost. What's going she, on she here? lost. <laughs> she lost all her uh, music. She doesn't own it anymore. That's like when uh, Paul McCartney met Michael Jackson, and he's, yeah, he's that's like fucking the best funny. thing you can do is uh, you know, buy buy your music. And yeah. And I'm going to buy your I'm gonna she, buy him. she put up this. <laughs> he bought the whole catalog of Beatles music. <laughs> she, she put up this long thing where she said she felt violated by this dude who, like, fucking bought all her music and is making, like, $2 million a day on this shit. Nice. Like, yeah. Good for him. I'm like, I can't blame. If he that fucking record, bought it, you can't just, you can't just yeah. buy it unless someone's selling it. So yeah, someone the sold fuck, it. Hold on. Why the fuck does she even think that her music is art in any way, shape, or form? It's pop bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, but it's making it sounds money. Like it, but that's what I'm saying. Don't get a fit. Stop. Come down off your fucking pedestal, Taylor Swift. No, right. her, her fans. Her fans got pissed at MJK. Nick was saying that yeah. she is pissed that someone bought her music. Well, she she's just pissed because she's losing money, I'm sure. Okay. Like, then she's then probably be got... real about it and say that you're pissed about losing money, not the fact that your art is being bastardized or whatever uh, the fuck. I mean, you know? yeah. yeah, I mean, you're lining up against Tool, which is not really a high fucking market. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people like that album. I haven't heard it yet. But... A lot of people like that album Do a I have, lot. Yeah. What the tool, the tool album? The new tool album. It's no, getting rave you. reviews. It's no, it really you. is. How good no, could it? Possibly I actually be. almost put it on when I was working out the other day because I just wanted to hear it since everyone's talking about it. I got like a minute in. I was like, no, nah, I can't work out to this. And There's no actu- way. And you actually went down in weight on your lifts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> started losing. Pounds. I just started you doing started, the same lift over it. and over he again. Lost, started falling asleep on bench press. <laughs> he lost almost fifty pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Shredded>. <laughs> Maybe if Tim loses weight, Mark will fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what that's uh, the subtext to that one. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's what I was getting at. Yes, <laughs> nice. it was one way or He's another. Like, Timmy, hey right. Timmy, if uh, if you lose fifty pounds and get yeah. shredded, I'll take some pictures yeah, of you. I was gonna say they <laughs> offer to take pictures, so. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you're in the uh, you're in the in between zone. You're like a, like, a you're like that a, uh, what's that that uh, photographer Terry? What his name was? The fucking creepo who took all the oh, sexy yeah. pictures the, of Pamela girls. Anderson. And Turns all out that, yeah. he's a fucking perv yeah exactly. well i mean it's like yeah. he takes pictures of naked women shocker look at him what'd look you at think the motherfucker yeah yeah, yeah richardson, that's what i was Terry telling richardson tim. yeah that's yeah. what i was telling tim get svelte or get fat motherfucker so i can bone you <laughs> get, 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 svelte. <laughs> get svelte and get felt yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to me too that ass. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> me too in All that right. ass. <laughs> I'm about to meet you <laughs> in that ass. Well, we got we got time for another uh, newspaper story. We do, yeah. I got we another do. one. Sure. Um, oh, Jesus. Um, Michael Kirkham, 47, faces assault and other charges after being accused of spiking his wife's rum with methamphetamine. <laughs> When she Florida. told him she wanted a divorce, <laughs> Florida, Florida. <laughs> sending her to the de- sending her to the hospital after she went a day without sleeping, said sheriff's <laughs> deputies in New Hanover County, North Carolina. Oh, that's close to Florida. That's a disappointing end of that story. So spiked rum with me- how do you do that? Don't you can't eat meth, can you? Yeah, I know. I don't you get sprinkled that. Sprinkled it in there, maybe. I don't. Well, know. I thought you had to I smoke it, it or shoot it. Yeah, that's meth is great. Snort it. Jim Sewell could tell you how to cook you can with take- meth, not cook meth. Cook with me. <laughs> well, I think I, no. I you, think, well, you can uh, take a um, um, Adderall, which is yeah methamphetamine. Yeah, but the a- thing, I'm thinking amphetamine. about it this way: if he spiked it in the rum, it had to be in liquid form. If you think about people who inject meth, oh, it's liquid you gotta, form. Yeah, you gotta but heat it that's up a just bit. going that's going right to the vein. So yeah. maybe that's what it was. He spiked it. Probably took a little bit. She had to digest it. I don't know. I, I bet, don't know. How I bet meth she works. just got caught with a drug test for meth and like made up some crazy ass story about her. You husband. Oh, might be. You might be yeah, on the right path. That sounds yeah. more likely to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Because people end up in the hospital for meth all the time. They now listen, with, I yeah. am a dirty ass alcoholic, but I don't touch meth. It's like, my well, husband teeth- had to have slipped it in my rum drink. Your teeth say differently, <laughs> madam. Yeah. Both of them. Um, well, that's because I don't brush. You know, me- you know, rum is made from the sugar cane, and so I don't brush my teeth, but it ain't from no meth. And they're trying to poison us with fluoride. I don't brush your teeth. I don't trust these chemicals all up in my mouth. <laughs> now, meth yeah. is from God. It's from nature. <laughs> it's all- it's all natural substances that, uh, ma'am, fluoride is on the periodic table of elements. Well, I don't know how to read that shit. Yeah, well, lithium, battery acid, uh, Sudafed is also on the periodic table. <laughs> Sudafed is. Sudafed. <laughs> What's the, uh, you know, atomic weight of Sudafed? 12, 12 hours. <laughs> I got something that could use some meth. Some people who could use some meth. So the story is, <clears throat> Rance, garbage truck terrorizing Seattle neighborhood at 5.20 a.m. <laughs> oh, no. You know they don't fuck around with that in Seattle. <clears throat> Way too early. This guy, yeah. Way too early. Yeah. They say the truck only comes before uh, 5.30 a.m. And basically this guy, his life is falling apart because he can't get any sleep. He says he's doing uh, worse at um, his job. He can't focus. What a pussy. Oh my God. <laughs> um, just pussy. about to say the same <laughs> like, thing. It's 5.30. And you should be this. up anyways. Yeah, you you're should, yeah, The yeah, impact has taken its toll. Tommy, who lives with his girlfriend, has tried to change their schedules to accommodate the trash pickups. But How loud it's not is the trash? For them. Oh my God, Truck. put in some fucking earplugs, you <laughs> What a oh snatch. I, I can't get behind that complaint at all. <laughs> the, man, the man's trying to do his job and get ahead of the traffic. I don't right. blame him. And it's not that loud to pick up some trash. It's fucking no. Seattle. Isn't there noise anyway? Oh, right. It's a major city. Yeah, there's plenty of noise with heroin junkies while they're running around. Just know? cans, just like <laughs> shit. in the alley, like... <laughs> Give me some of that. You got Taylor, <laughs> Taylor Swift on Darryl, in the background. Daryl, you got another bag on you? Hey, where's the? No, this Seattle. You been sleeping, Daryl? This, this where's Seattle your bed? Asshole. Where's your box, Daryl? It's this, like I'm in Seattle. No. <laughs> He's sleep, sleepless Let's in Seattle. Let's put on some Nirvana, Daryl. <laughs> He, um, that guy's Daryl, Daryl, uh, Daryl, you want to go look at the Space Needle later? Daryl, Daryl. Spoon Man! We're all fucking named Daryl when you're homeless. Daryl. <laughs> Daryl, isn't it so nice being near Vancouver? Daryl, when I say never mind, I mean never mind, but also let's put on that album, Daryl. Where's your heroin, Daryl? That guy stays up way too late. 
That's but a garbage maybe, truck. Maybe, yeah. maybe Tim, his life is falling apart. Five twenty in the morning. Maybe How did that make the news? Like that sounds like you know, annoy your friend complaining about is it. Is that for a Buzzfeed a article? I, <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's a maybe he's a bartender. There's a, there's a quiz to see if your life is falling apart from garbage trucks at five Tim, in the morning. Terror in Seattle. <laughs> Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> Call the press. <laughs> now that would be a great viral article if they did if that label was the actual headline. In yeah. It sounds like an onion article. I swear really? to God, like it local man no, can't sleep real. because garbage man picks up his trash too early. It's like, yeah. yeah. Now when uh, I lived in New York, uh, we didn't have air conditioner, so we had to have the windows open in the summer, and you could hear the the guys come and pick up the trash, but it's like. You got to get used to they, it, right? Like you gonna, start, they're going to do it sometime. Yeah. yeah, his yeah. life is falling apart. <laughs> it's falling apart. I, I, I want to talk. To, I want to talk to this guy more. I want to know what else. I want to know if he's blaming the garbage yeah. can on his shitty life. His life also fell apart uh, briefly when he found out that secret sauce is just Thousand Island. So, oh, it, no, yeah. it was a huge press release about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got a bunch of other yeah. good what offbeat stories. He, I, well, he had one brief glimmer of hope when McDonald's brought back the McRib. <laughs> oh my god. His life fell apart. <laughs> Look, the McRib when the McRib the, left. The, the McRib isn't that bad. <laughs> really not that bad. Did you see the girl who who showed up to a town hall meeting though about uh and because the McRib was no longer available at her local McDonald's oh, and no. she wrote a heartfelt letter and was like this is something that my family it is a tradition for us year after year and we go hall. out and we get a McRib and she like she's fucking pissed about it skinny she's girl pissed it? about it was she not real just skinny being funny or no it was huh. real it was a real thing she like maybe 100 pounds dripping wet or like yeah like dark like like trashy scene trashy. girl emo looking chick oh, that like yeah. dark hair scene and kid. like yeah Interesting. yeah a scene kid scene kid that's the new uh that that was or is i don't know uh, i don't new. fucking yeah, yeah i know it's not, not new. new i'm just all saying. the terrible you know clothing styles rotate but it's I'm not sure a clothing Hollister style it's just a, it's a look it's, yeah it, it's well a, it's a look and it's also i i listen hmm. to depressing shit you yeah, know and, it's not goth yeah. though that's no different. I do. is it no it's not goth got to pop seems i don't different. know put on some good charlotte and get moody there you go yeah well, no no yeah no. goth is goth is more that. my chemical romance uh, uh, no. is that I, no, no i know no. i think you're you know what tyler there. these these two are just the part cure, of the you know yeah the uh, cure is definitely yeah, that's, oh, that's that? joy school. division that's old school uh, yeah, yeah what was that school. uh that, i don't know there's some band i can't remember these now. guys part of the black fucking parade night. over here <laughs> fear, factory, <laughs> fear factory or no, they were like metal. industrial yeah it was industrial okay. yeah. orgy you remember them how does it feel they covered that song. They yeah, covered, yeah, they covered Blue Monday, but yeah. the rest of the album was good, actually good. Was it Tyler? Yeah, yeah. Was no. it really? No, it was not. No, I, I highly doubt that. No. Highly doubt that. I only know that one song that wasn't even their song. Yeah, exactly. Well, and then uh, Cher's son was in that band. Uh, Cher Dead, has a son. Dead Sea. <laughs> they had that song. Key oh to man, Gra- Key to Gramercy Park. I don't know that one. America's oh. Treasure. Chaz Bono. <laughs> Not that son. <laughs> America's treasure. <laughs> oh. Uh. Not man. a fan. No, right. <laughs> I mean, I could get behind that man, you know, <laughs> doing the cha cha and dancing with the stars. Now she's a girl, but now she's a guy. Is that what. Yes. Okay. That is a, I have a hard time keeping up with girl. It yeah, that's a. He's a. Uh, especially when they thick. look like. Uh, <laughs> They're kind of still in the middle of oh transition. Oh my god! Speaking of uh, speaking of uh, dancing with the stars, yeah. Sean Spicer, former oh yeah, uh, former uh, mouthpiece dude. for the White yeah. House, is doing, and it's like, is that really no? Is that really like, is he a I star? Thought it was supposed to be like yeah, well, dancing with the celebrities. You're not a celebrity. No. You're a politician's no. mouthpiece. You know what that is? is? That, 
It's I'll not tell just you, celebrities. It's a, that's a, athletes. That, that's just, a payday. It's anyone who's on, money. It's anyone who's a C list or below. No, I'll that's tell you exactly what that is. Our ratings are down, so we need some controversy. So let's toss Sean Spicer. I fucking promise you, the ratings for Dancing for the Stars are not down. That show every single. I know my parents watch. Who are the retards that watch these shows? My parents watch. Your parents. I'm sorry, Joe and Kathy. I really, I really, I love the dancing. Yeah, you, any any particular that. style Capital of dancing? Wow, oh, that America's Treasure Chaz Bono is great. <laughs> like America's Got Talent. Who you watches even, that? You can't even tell that he's a guy. You know, it's great. <laughs> I watch that, not religiously, but mm. our our TV is always on. NBC. Oh, because you got cable. Leave, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have cable, so we always leave it on the one fucking channel all the time. Well, that's, that's your choice, like man. It. You can switch yeah. station if you want. Yeah, we we walked in could. here, and you and Lauren were doing a blood oath to only watch NBC. <laughs> 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 we pledge fealty to NBC, <laughs> an unbreakable yeah. vow. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> Lauren's got some bells in the back, and she just it goes <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> of the ritual <laughs> Mark had to kill the raccoon a, a, a sacrifice to the peacock <laughs> NBC, oh, NBC will bring us good fortune yeah. <laughs> bang bang uh, that's a good that's a good note to end on um, we did it thanks so much folks we appreciate it uh, see you on the next one bang